I understand death on the metaphysical level. You can't die, but you can get out of your body. And what I saw was I saw this yellow orb. So now my near death experience, my personal near death experience is I had problems on my legs. And when I was young, I am, I used to run. I stopped running when I was about four years ago because I couldn't really, um, I couldn't really move the way I wanted to. So what I did is I went to doctors because my legs were getting, I kept getting like, yeah, 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 whatever, like these little things, like a, a guitar on a, on a, going through a, a system and like that. And my, my body was talking to me and you need to listen to your body, you know? And so I went to doctors and they told me that my, my disc ripped in your, in your body. We have disc that basically like Saturn has, you know, it's satellites. We have disc that basically balance our body. And no one wants to put this in metaphysical terms. I am a metaphysicist, straight up. And I understand the energy of creation, straight up. And what creates everything? The first creation of anything was thing, thought. All of a sudden, a bang, a bang is in the middle of the black hole. All of a sudden, you got vocal vibrations. A thought becomes an action. An action becomes a blueprint. And a blueprint becomes a building of something. So um, what I'm telling you is I understand all this and I needed my legs fixed. So I found this doctor who fixed a running back's body so he could play after three and a half weeks. Now, the only reason I knew about this is because it was a running back on a team I hate. And all of a sudden the running back's back. I'm like, I got to go meet that guy. I did meet that guy. His name is Kevin Pauza, P-A-U-Z-A. -A. And he came up with a technique where he could seal your backs, the, the disc. So I believed him. I hired him. And it's June 6th. No, it's not. It's January 6th this year. And I let him go in there. He goes in with a needle. And he puts a substance on top of your ripped disc. And he fixed three out of my four ripped discs. He didn't fix the fourth. And then he comes, pulls his needle out and whatever, whatever. So January 6th became January 13th. My legs were feeling better. January 20th, my legs were feeling better. January 27th, I'm like, wow, I I'm ready. And so now I'm ready. And I, I, I produce a lot of music. I have a lot of music coming out. And I have a record label with Debbie. It's called SSK Records. It stands for the School of Sacred Knowledge Records. My goal is to introduce the world to artists, not computer, not things that live inside a matrix that make you upset, make you have fear, make you have doubts. No, I want music that will teach you love, that will make you dream, that will make you believe you can become whatever you want. Me being Peter Pan and having Wendy here that keeps me on earth, but loves me and believes in everything I'm saying to her because you need a feminine energy as well as male energy, you know? So we sit here on earth and we make it. So I've got these acts. And one of the acts I had was with the United States being the imperial government we are to go conquer the world for Christianity, even though we don't admit, admit it, but that's what we're doing. And we're doing it for the Vatican, not the Eastern Orthodox Church, which has the Greek language. The Latin language includes English. Don't listen to anyone that says anything different. Same letters, but different vibrations when you repeat the letters, which makes it so you can't understand each other. Like Sp American is A-E-I-O-U. I once put out a song like that. In Spanish, it's A-E, no, A-E-O-U. So there's no I the way I pronounce it. There are I's and E. And it changes all the words and all the vibrations, which is really interesting. So, you know, it's what happened was this guy went into my back and I'm now in Cuba. I go to pick up this Cuban record I have that. Well, then I just picked it up 
on February 2nd. And then all of a sudden I couldn't walk. I'm like, what is this? I can't walk. And I'm looking at my guy, my bodyguard, who was a Cuban general that we used to fly Russian missiles and bomb people in Angola. That's a lovely thing to do, right? Why are they bombing people in Angola? I mean, why do, why do earthlings kill each other? If we ate each other, it would make sense. It may not be right, but we just have roadkill. And we allow all the earthworms to come and eat these bodies where the souls are, are basically floating over the bodies trying to figure out what the hell happened to me? Where am I? Well, you're in a place where now you got to figure out if you want to reincarnate, which is the Hindu Buddhist world, or if you want to ascend, which is the Egyptian world. Ascend, what does that mean? Get out of this matrix or reincarnate. Come back into this matrix. And if you reincarnate, why are you coming back into this matrix? Because you have a want, you have a need, you want to get even, you didn't get what you want. Instead of realizing, no, ascend, become all you can become. Keep going up the ladder like it's a video game. So I can't walk. It's Thursday night. Friday, I get into the Cuban hospitals. I thought they would fix my back. I didn't understand Spanish, but what they decided to do was to make my back so I could fly back to Miami, which is 90 miles away. But my country has single-handedly destroyed Cuba. And they're both Christian nations, but our nation decided since they wouldn't join the IMF, the banking system, they can't like Cuba. So we don't like Cuba. This shit's been going on since 1959. When I ran for the U.S. Senate, I wanted to terminate that. I ingratiated and opened the hearts of the Cubans because I gave them belief that all Americans were just pigs. I'm not a pig. I love music. I love art. I love culture. And I want whatever your myths and legends are. So there's a band called the Buena Vista Social Club. And I will be putting their music out. But then I picked up their music and I, I, I came back to the United States and I'm ready to go to England where I'm going to put together the tours. And by the way, I would love to bring my myself down there in Vietnam and lecture and bring my bands down there. Anyway, so going back to this, I am. Um, I got back so Sunday. I couldn't walk Saturday. I couldn't walk Monday. I go to the hospital. They tell my wife I'm in AFib. All my organisms are failing. Okay. Okay. They're all failing. Okay, so now I'm like, what does that mean? So now my organs are failing. Now it's Tuesday. And I still can't walk. I'm in pain in my back. I have no idea what it was. Wednesday, they, dis they discovered I had a bacteria in my back. They didn't know what it was. But they discovered it. Th they had to get it out of my back. They told my wife, I may not make it. Okay, I may not make it. Well, what does that mean? I didn't know that. Because I'm out for the count. And they said, well, just see what happens. But I do remember, and this is what you wanted to hear. I understand death on the metaphysical level. You can't die. But you can get out of your body. And what I saw was I saw this yellow orb. And it's a yellow orb, basically yellow orange, as if it's a flame. You know, and it started vibrating. And I started hearing the vibrations and I started hearing these noises and yeah, you, you make them what you want, but it's all love. Vibrations love. It communicates you without, that is the language. The language is vibrations, right? So I heard you can ascend now. And I remember thinking and throwing into that flame. I saw Debbie through the flame and I saw Debbie crying. And I spoke to the flame and I said to the flame, I'm not ready to go. I, you know, in that dream state where I'm outside my body, where I'm consciousness, I said, I'm not ready to go. Please let me go back so I could finish my, what I want to do. My, you know, the reason I existed here, I don't want to come back and do it all over again. Please let me fix this. So I woke up and I was like, I was tied up. And by the way, the feeling of that orb that I'm telling you about, it was calm. 
it was cool, it wasn't freezing. It was like the perfect degrees for you to just be in Nirvana. It was perfect. But I wasn't ready for it. And I wasn't, my body wasn't ready for me to die. So I, I wake up and I start screaming because where am I? All I did, and then I, I'm, I'm put, I, I don't remember what happened next, except I wake up a second time and they've got me tied up because they had all these things inside me. And my wife showed up. And she was as happy as can be, but mad too. You know, not mad, but like, I can't believe this. But she was loving. She nursed me back to health. You know, and she tells me to stop yelling. She said, stop yelling at everybody. And I'm like, I don't know what this is, this and that. But anyway, I calmed down. And then I believe it was the next day they came in and they told me they're playing with my foot. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm like, what do you want my toes to do? And they said, we just want to see if you have any feeling down there. I said, why? They want to see if I will be able to walk again. I said, so what are you saying? They go, you may have an issue. I said, really? So I said to the doctor, I said, how do I get out of this? And they said, well, you need the energy in your toes. And I said to them, the, my words, all right, I'll do it. You're telling me to do this, I'll do this. But there was a doctor who told me he has never had any issues, any problems. And he's the man I gave my money to. And I, I haven't heard from him. Not that I should, but I did call and reach out to him when I couldn't walk. And this guy has me really upset because I lost six months of my life because of him. But there's a plus side. Those six months, I made like Buddha, the original Buddha. And all I did was meditate and think. And I realized I was given back a gift. I can walk around and talk to people as an elder. I can walk around and share my experience learning what you believe. I can walk around and share with people my experience of love and survival and the energies that we all represent and the energies I look for when I produce music or the energies that I am when I talk to people like you or anyone. I walk around and I look at people who are sad and I look at them and I go, what a lovely place. If you really believe that God created you to be the leaders of the people, then lead the people, lead them to love, not to a nation. That's not a democracy, but an Israeli state. Let people discover their own needs. Let people live in love. And just, who does mankind think they are so anyway, COVID-19 was created by man fooling around with food. Okay. And then they, out of nowhere, they had the shots for us. They knew what was going to happen. Who's they? The industrial machine that runs our world and gives us fake food. Basically food to feed the animals that we eat, which is pretty funny too. We need to make fake food to feed the animals so we could eat the animals. Instead of just eating what Mother Earth gave us. But Mother Earth did not expect to have six billion humans walking around, redirecting and recreating and making a mess of the energies that naturally come into our planet. And forest fires are a natural phenomenon. Plants talk to each other. They do. They communicate through fungi. I made an album called The Singing Life of Plants. We mic the soil and we brought up the energies from the soil that the machine could pick up because you and I can't. And I then put it up to A through G, what you and I can hear. And uh, we made a beautiful album, a great, a great album to meditate to. So anyway, now I'm telling you with forest fires, trees need water. So like in LA, where I lived for many years, they have a place called the Valley. Okay, great. So what did he do in L.A.? They build golf courses or Vegas or Phoenix. OK, but Vegas and Phoenix did not put up trees like we did in L.A. OK, so now what does that mean? Well, you got to water that grass. Water is not a natural ingredient. It's not here on Earth. I believe it was brought down by the Nephilim from Nibiru when they created civilization here on Earth. I believe that. I put that in that book that you saw there. 
Okay, so now we got these trees. These trees are living and breathing in LA and they need water. Well, there's no water. Well, what does that mean? They become hardened. They become wood. They become forest. They become limber, lumber that you could light. You could light in your fireplace. So people's backyards became their fireplace because they had no water to feed the trees that never should have been put there. In Miami, when we get the hurricanes here, and a natural plant for this is a plant that can go like that. You know, it can wave with the wind. But not down here. We had to bring in trees. Well, what happens with the bigger trees? Well, they put roots in the ground and they can't sway. So what happens when the wind comes? The wind will pick it up. we will pick it up and move it. You know, it's like, what is this? So a lot of these natural things are totally caused by man. No ifs, ands, or buts. Now, we learned that trees make carbon, and we're talking about the carbon property. Well, why aren't we planting trees to replace the trees we take down? That's pretty stupid. I mean, who's doing what here? But at the same time, if you look at planet Earth rotating around the sun, you realize that that's only a solar system. And what happens is energies, be they retrograde, which makes energies within the solar system, or outside that, outside the other energies of the galaxies and the universe come sweeping in. And when they come sweeping in, they bring in different energies. Like the great flood I write about in my book. I write what the tablets told me. It came in through the south. It melted the waters. In, um, they, they did this in 13,000 BC. No, 11,000 BC, 13,000 years ago. Well, anyway, the Arctic Pole starts, so basically the ice melts and it goes crazy and it's got these winds coming in and they blow the winds over the equator. They, they went over the equator, past the Tropic of Cancer, past the Tropic of Cancer into Canada and Northern Europe, and it started melting the Ice Age. So more land came here for Earthlings, but it destroyed everything that was in its way. It even got as high as the Andes Mountains where the Incas live. And all of a sudden they discovered that they, being in the film, discovered there was gold there. So a lot of these things going on are natural, but we don't understand. We are not in control of Earth. This is a Mother Earth's world. She lives with other elements. She lives with the energies, feminine energy, which I believe is planted Mars and also planet Uranus, maybe even Neptune. And then you've got the male energies and then you got the neuter energies like Saturn and Jupiter. You know, they're not going to produce life. They don't have water. Water is what we need for the womb. And it's just metaphysics and quantum physics and just get in touch with your higher powers and ask you questions. But listen, and listen to your body because your body is an instrument. Your body will tell you what's going on. And even I, with all this wisdom, I don't always listen to my body. Yeah, thank you. For letting me talk to your fr friends and family, your audience. I hope I come, I come from an energy of love. I'd love to walk your lands. I've been in over a hundred countries, not yours.